सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वट डू वी मीन बाय मिनिमाइजिंग सम ऑफ स्क्वेयर ऑफ एरर्स वी हैव डेटा हियर ऑन कैलिफोर्निया स्कूल डेटा यूज इन स्टॉक एंड वॉटसन introduction to econometrics book we have so many variables here but at the moment we are going to discuss only simple linear regression which means we should have only two variables i am going to i am going to delete all others i am going to delete all others sorry so we have this data observation numbers we don't need this and i am going to take only two variables test score and student teacher ratio so yes this is deleted and we have here another variable computer per student expenditure per student that is no more required average income we shall use this average income english percentage learners reading score math score in our next lectures but not at the moment so we have test score and student teacher ratio only two variables so we we take x variable on this side in column a and y variable in column b we just find so str is your student teacher ratio and test score is your test of those students this is data from four Hundred and twenty districts of California. First of all, the very first step in data analysis is to plot your data to see what kind of relationship this is. So look at this. We have inserted scatter plot, and from this scatter plot. we'll see what sort of relationship it looks like okay uh you have here uh, you need to adjust this x axis and instead of starting it from uh to zero we can start it from 12 10 or 14 because this may start from 10 and up to maximum 30 fine so okay please focus on this and all of you are required to fit a line visually yourself please think what sort of line do you think is appropriate okay please go ahead should it be negative slope should it be positively sloped okay we agree it's negatively sloped what what the value of intercept you guess guess any value guess any value no issue guess 700 is the guess okay fine it may be very close fine what what is the value of slope just guess rise over run so you run from 14 up to 26 roughly and what is the rise uh, rise over run and 7 10 may be the highest score and uh, you can say 600 10 may be the lowest score 100 divided by you see maximum value is somewhere here and on vertical axis and minimum value is this one so this will be your okay on average this is your fall so this this is roughly 100 points for let's say 
फोर्टीन एंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स आर यू कैन से दिस इज जस्ट फिफ्टीन तो हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाई फिफ्टीन आर हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेंटी आर लाइक दिस सो यू मे गेस फाइव माइनस थ्री माइनस फोर लाइक गेस एनी वैल्यू वट सो एवर यू वॉन्ट फाइन सो वी हैव गेस द वैल्यू ऑफ slope and intercept which i am writing here a and a is let's say 700 and your b is minus 3 fine we just live with the guess what is your fitted value i just use here names hmm. left column name the rows from left column so instead of writing it time and again i shall simply write here look here what is your fitted value alpha hat plus beta hat x so a plus b b is your slope times x fine are you with me okay that's okay and this is your y hat isn't it yes gap between y and y hat is your error but from no one will make a difference between error and residuals errors are in your population regression function but this is your sample data from sample whatever you get those are called residuals right whatever we get from sample y minus y hat those are your residuals that's a technical difference so this is residual please look at the screen y minus y hat minus y hat that is your residual and sum of residuals should be equal to 0 and this is residual square what you try to minimize sum of squares of residuals so this is equal to square so these are your sum of squares oh, sorry this is your square u1 square u2 square u3 square u4 square up to u 100 420 square and if i take it sum so this is your 216926 is your sum of squares of residuals we shall try to pick आपने बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट बात करनी है प्लीज मेरे लेक्चर को खराब नहीं कीजिए मैं रिकॉर्डिंग भी करके आप लोगों के लिए रख रहा हूं ठीक है तो आप बाद में बातें कर लें या बाहर चले जाइए टू वन सिक्स नाइन टू सिक्स सो दिस इज योर सम ऑफ स्क्वेयर ऑफ रेजिडल्स वी शेल ट्राई टू मिनिमाइज दिस सम ऑफ स्क्वेयर ऑफ रेजिडल्स बाई पिकिंग दोज वैल्यूज ऑफ beta not and beta 1 so that no other value can minimize this sum of squares of residuals so just i take this value you see equal to uh, e422 so we have to minimize this value by changing what by changing beta not and beta 1 so let's go to data you will have this option i shall explain at some other time how you can utilize this but at the moment i just want to explain the concept ये तो 
तो कोई इसमें हैंग हुआ हुआ है Objective is cell H two by changing what? By changing which cells? So we need to change a alpha and beta, and we don't make uncon. Okay, fine. We ask computer to solve it for us. So now it's trying so many values of alpha and beta, beta naught and beta one, and it will pick those values of beta naught and beta one, so that no other value can make this sum of squares of residuals as minimum. इसको इतना टाइम लेना नहीं चाहिए था कोई वो पहले की फाइल्स ओपन है वो बेसिकली उसको If you look at this very bottom of the screen, so it is mentioning you that your trial solution number five, trial solution number four. So this is at the moment trial solution number five. So it is telling you objective cell is one double four three one five, right? So it's basically trying so many values and something wrong going on. No, it's for trial solution number six, but it will not take this much time when you will do it at your own.
so now our solver solution is 1 4 4 3 1 5 is our minimum sum of squares of residuals for value of 698 and minus 2.28 we say keep solver solution keep solver solution this is the concept of minimizing sum of squares of residuals means if you will know use formula beta hat is equal to covariance between x and y that is sum of x minus x bar y minus y bar divided by sum of y minus x minus x bar square what you will get minus 2.28 and similarly you will get intercept value equal to 698.901 right if you will get any, uh, uh, if uh, you, uh, you will have value other than 698 and minus 2.28, your sum of squares of residuals will be greater than this number. And you can see it. If I write here 700, so you see your sum of squares of residuals will increase. So that's the concept of minimizing sum of squares of residuals. And now if I use this fitted line, now if I, what will be our fitted line? So you see this is your fitted line, right? If I change here minus 3, that was early, what we have. So you see this line will shift down, this line will shift up, this line will shift, right? So we'll try to pick those values of beta naught and beta 1 so that sum of squares of residuals is minimum. That's the concept of ordinary least square it makes that square least 